worship you, O Lord. We thank you. We adore you, O God. You are our God. You are our Savior. We trust in your mercy and power, O God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let us look at the face of Jesus. Our God is come to us. And His infinite mercy is come down to us in the form of bread. It is the Lord. It is the Lord who has come down to us in this humble form of bread. In the midst of the storm and the waves, John could recognize Him when other disciples were saying, it's a ghost. John could recognize Him as the Lord. It is the Lord. It is the Lord who has come down to us from the altar. The Lord is telling every one of us, it is the Lord. The Lord our God who created the heaven and the earth. The Lord our God who went about doing good to everyone. The Lord our God who healed the sick who comforted the afflicted, the Lord our God inviting every one of us, the burdened and the tired, promising comfort to us. The Lord our God is here, our God waiting to comfort us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy and compassion, Lord. We thank you. Jesus, we bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your great mercy and compassion. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you. There's no God like you, O God. You are such a merciful God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For your great compassion, for your infinite mercy, we thank you. We praise you. Together with the angels and saints of God, together with Mother Mary in our midst, let us worship Him, let us adore Him, let us surrender a life to Him. You are beautiful beyond description, too marvelous. For words too wonderful for comprehension, like nothing ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depth of your? Beyond description, majesty and throned above, and I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand. Offering to the Lord all that is wrong with our life, every pain in our body, all the sufferings in our life, 
offering to the Lord all the violence and war in the world around us. Offering to the Lord all the anxiety and fear in our hearts. Offering to Him all the painful memories haunting us from our past. Offering to Him our uncertain future. We want to pray this chaplet of divine mercy in this sacred hour of divine mercy this hour when we are most acceptable to him when the blood and water flowed out of his heart his heart was wounded by the soldier's lands and his mercy was revealed to its highest measure. We want to believe in Him. It is in His mercy that we believe. And we want to pray this chaplet of divine mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gush forth for souls, and an ocean of mercy open up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I, I trust, trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I, I trust, trust in you. you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I, I trust, trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of, God, of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator, Creator of, of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in, in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, Son, our Lord. Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and a life everlasting. Amen. As we pray the first decade, we meditate on the great truth that the Son of God was manifested to reveal to us the infinite mercy of God the Father. God the Father sent his son because he loved. He loved the world to such great extent that he was ready to abandon his son to the cross that none of us should be lost. And Jesus said it in so many words. Let me read for you from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 13 onwards. No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him 
may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The only way to be saved is to believe in the mercy of God the Father revealed to us in Jesus, revealed in the infinite manner in the crucifixion of Jesus. God the Father handing over his son to be crucified. Let us look at Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. The broken body of Jesus now exposed, broken for you and for me. My brother, my sister, whatever your brokenness is, whatever you are suffering from, it's a share given to you in the brokenness of Jesus. Offer that share with the brokenness of Jesus to the Heavenly Father that God's mercy may descend upon you to heal you and save you. Let's pray this first decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on, us and on the, the whole, whole world. world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world of life now be restored Agnes joy Emmanuel you have a message from the Lord the fullness of life will now be restored whatever you are suffering from whatever memory you are haunted by whatever is sad in your heart offer to the Lord 
that is a message for everyone now looking at the face of the lord psalm 34 look at him look at him and your faces will be radiant what is it that makes your heart sad is it your heart sinking into your sorrow sorrows of the past haunting you again and again the guilt of the past coming up and sins of the past having an enslaving effect on you the mercy of the lord is descending descending upon you the lord is inviting you to trust in him trust in him is such a great measure that you will totally be healed liberated liberated in the power of god if the sun sets you free you shall be free indeed there are my brothers and sisters who are alcoholics who are drug addicts who are enslaved to the powers of evil the lord is setting them free free from the passions of evil from the powers of sin look at jesus turn to him turn to him and look at him you're being delivered but jesus said to the paralyzed man get up and walk the man looked at jesus jesus reached his hand out to him this man held the hand of jesus and got up and walked to his new life the lord is giving you the grace and power and the courage to walk to a new life of freedom hallelujah 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 we praise you jesus we thank you we trust in your mercy lord your compassion is our way of living praise you jesus thank you lord we believe in your power lord jesus there are my brothers and sisters here entangled in the conflicts in the family and they are so disheartened because of the conflict after conflict not able to know what to do where to turn to turn to the lord and live there are parents very anxious and angry at their children the children not obeying the children who are not doing well in their studies turn to the lord it is the lord who gave you your children and the lord is in charge of their life their future the lord will look after them lord thank you lord for your assurance we offer our children to you the future of our family to you your mercy will take authority over our children our dear children children who are rebelling children who are going astray we bring them to you o lord you be you be in charge of them you hold their hand let them walk in the newness of life hallelujah 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 bringing our children to you o god we praise you we thank you for all the graces you are giving them praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah 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 we praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah 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 praise you jesus thank you lord in the second decade we want to meditate contemplating on the real meaning of mercy saint paul tells us Roman chapter 
verses 5 onwards hope does not disappoint us because the love of god has been poured out into our hearts through the holy spirit that has been given to us for christ while we were still helpless yet died at the appointed time for the ungodly indeed only with difficulty does one die for a just person though perhaps for a good person one might even find courage to die but god proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners god died for us how much more than since we are now justified by his blood will we be saved through him from the wrath that's what mercy is while we were sinners while we did not care for god and perishing in our ungodliness god sent his son in this God's mercy is revealed. Mercy goes beyond justice. Justice demands that we should be punished because of our sins. Every sinner is to be punished. Every mistake is to be corrected by punishment. punishment is the only way of correcting mistakes that's the way of the world that is the age old justice system prevalent in good cultures of the world mistakes are to be punished sin is to be paid for if that system was respected by god we should have been eradicated our sins were so terrible we could not pay we could not pay for our sin we should have been destroyed in this and paul tells us God's love is manifested that he gave us his only son to die for us while we were still ungodly we rejected God that's when God sent his only son mercy goes beyond justice mercy goes beyond surpassing even love in love there is reciprocity when i love someone i expected to be loved when i give something to someone out of love i expect it back from him that is gratitude of love gratitude goes with love but mercy no mercy is undeserving love undeserved love even when we did not care for god even when god knows we would not care for him he loves he continues to love in this god's mercy is revealed lord Let our hearts be warmed up in love because of your mercy. Your mercy is so great, so infinite. Lord, how can we ever commit a sin against you after what you have done for us? Your mercy is so infinite. Your compassion is so great. contemplating opening our heart 
to this great mercy we pray the second decade eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy, have mercy on, on us, us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world i wandered far I find my home In your mercy I find my joy In your mercy I find my home Nowhere else I will be at home Out in the world I will not find my home You my Lord in your presence that's where i will find my home only you can understand me only you can accept me as i am there is much that is sinful in me with st paul i have cried out i don't know what is happening to me i want to be good It's good that I want to do but what I am in fact doing is evil There are powers of sin in me that drag me into evil Beyond my control I'm compelled passions passions that drag me in the shameful things thinking shameful thoughts saying unholy words doing what i should not be doing there are powers of sin in me lord with st paul i want to glorify you only you will understand me Only in you I will find my forgiveness my acceptance my home Hallelujah Hallelujah We praise you Lord We thank you Lord Jesus we praise my home my my compassion we praise you Lord Jesus thank you Lord 
Jesus, as we pray this third decade, we want to believe. We want to believe, Jesus, that beautiful picture you have drawn for us of your heavenly Father. The picture of the father of the prodigal son, Luke chapter 15. A father waiting. A father running down to welcome the son. Son coming back. Looking for him. Waiting for him. One day, my son will come back. My son will not find his joy anywhere out in the world. I know my son. I know my son. My son cannot find any delight anywhere out in the world. Out in the world, it's only pigsty, the dirt, the filth. Of the pigs die the stench of the pigs. That's all what there is out in the world. In the pleasures of evil. I know the heart of my son. My son will come back. That is your father. Jesus, my father, my heavenly father. And Jesus, your father's waiting was fulfilled. When is it, Lord, your father's waiting going to be fulfilled? In my case, I'm still far away. I'm not able to feel the arms of your father around me. I'm not able to see the doors open. The doors of the Father's house open to me. I'm not able to feel the warmth of the heart of the Father pressed against my heart. Your Father, the Heavenly Father, such a great God, Reveal, reveal the heart of your Father to me, Jesus. The Heavenly Father's great love. I want to come back. I want to come back to the arms of my Father. I want to feel the warmth of the love of my Father. I want the celebration. The celebration in the house of my Father. That's the only celebration worth the name. I've gone from celebration to celebration. Empty. Empty of content. Too much of laughter without meaning. Too much of words without any sense. There is sense only in the celebration in your father's house. Your father is waiting to celebrate at my return. I will get up. I will go to my father. I will tell him I have sinned against you father against heaven I'm not worthy to be called your son Jesus the father will hold me close hold me tight I will feel the heart throb of your father let me return let me return to your Father's love. 
Let's pray this decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole, whole world. world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful Full passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Thine own way. Your way with me is the way of mercy, the way of compassion. Your way with me. You do not punish me according to my sin. Have thine own way. Jesus spoke about Moses raising up the bronze serpent, book of Numbers, chapter 21, verses 7 to 9. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray to the Lord. To take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And if anyone who has been bitten looks at it, he will recover. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he recovered. God saving. Lord, I offer to you all my sickness. My brothers and sisters, 
all that we are sick of let us offer to the lord every pain in our body every part of our body that is in dysfunction that is causing us concern the cancer the urinary problem the back ache the frozen shoulder the problem of the eyes offer to the lord the heart problem the chronic problem of the stomach the knee pain and whatever else you were suffering from your body was created by the lord and the lord can recreate it as jesus did with bartimaeus the blind beggar as jesus did with the paralyzed man as jesus did with the lepers as jesus did with the man with the withered arm the lord can do this with your body believe this look at him look at jesus offering to the lord every form of sickness every pain we are suffering from let's pray this decade of divine mercy eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion a mercy or na send on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion a mercy or na send on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion a mercy or na send on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion a mercy or na send on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion a mercy or na send on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion a mercy or na send on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful full passion a mercy or na send on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion a mercy or na send on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion a mercy or na send on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion a mercy or na send on the whole world to see your face my heart's one desire to know your love to know you as love to know your mercy to taste your compassion so long have i been with you lord 
I do not know you. I do not know you as compassion. And therefore I doubt. In the moments of my troubles and trials, I doubt. I turn away from you. I do not rush into your arms for you to bind up my wounds. I complain. I murmur. I go to the corner and I weep. I turn away from you, Lord. I've never tasted your mercy yet. It's your blood. Jesus, your blood, your blood fall upon me. The warm blood falling from your heart. I am experience your love. From the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 33 onwards. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. Eyewitness has testified, and his testimony is true. He knows that he is speaking the truth so that he also may come to believe. For this happened so that the scripture passage might be fulfilled. Not a bone of it will be broken. And again, another passage says, They will look upon him whom they have pierced. We may look upon you. We have pierced you. We may look upon you and pray this last decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful Say
Holy God, Holy Mighty, Mighty One, one holy, holy Immortal One, one have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The open heart of Jesus reveals to us what Jeremiah said, 31.3, I have loved you with an everlasting love. We are a people who know what is in the heart of Jesus. What is in the heart of our God Love, a heart opened for us. And therefore, I know who I am. Who am I? I am loved to that great extent. My God dared, opted to open his heart for me, before me. I may have committed many sins, but my sins do not define me. By definition, I am not a sinner. By definition, I am a beloved. As St. John said, looking at the open heart of Jesus, the beloved disciple has testified this. Standing with St. John, you and I will be able to say this. I am the beloved disciple of Jesus. My sin does not define me. But the open heart of Jesus defines me. I am the beloved. I am such a beloved disciple. The God has opted to open his heart to me, to tell me what I mean to him. I mean to him so much. He has loved me. With an everlasting love. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Praise you. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Let us receive the blessing of the Lord, the blessing of our great loving God. Eternal God, your mercy is endless and your treasury of compassion is exhaustible. Look with kindness upon us and increase your mercy within us so that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but may with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen.
so